Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom to you. Turn to your neighbor and say, you are welcome to the presence of the Lord this morning. In the name of Jesus, you are welcome into the presence of the Lord. Amen. Shalom to you wherever you're joining us from. We are more than excited to have you fellowshipping with us. If you're joining us online for the first time, this is Christ Palace International Ministries, where we express the love of God and display His power in express manifold. Amen. All right. Shall we ready ourselves into a time of prayer? Ready ourselves into a time of prayer in the name of Jesus as we prepare our confessions on the screen. Are we ready? All right. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go. I am a child of God. God gave birth to me. I am like him. I walk in the fullness of the authority, of the power, of the glory, of the dominion, of the prosperity of a child of God now. I am an heir of God, joint heir with Christ. I am the righteousness of God. I rule and reign in life. I am royalty. I am a king and a priest. The enemy cannot exact upon me. And the son of wickedness cannot afflict me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I am what the word of God says I am. I do what the word of God says I can do. I have what the word of God says I have. I love Jesus. I love his people. I love Christ's palace. I love my pastor. And upon all the glory, there shall be a defense in Jesus' mighty name. And I declare that this year I am helped marvelously in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout a louder amen unto amen. King Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. Colossians chapter 1, the verse number 15. We thank you, King Jesus. Colossians chapter 1, the verse number 15. The Bible says, Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creator? Next verse, please. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. Thank you, King Jesus. And he is before all things and by him all things do consist. If you believe it, you want to lift up your voice this morning and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, King Jesus. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Matish Gava Ravaski Vila Ikran Tevele Vreska Panta Prana. We thank you, Elohim. We thank you, King Jesus. Matish Gabas Gaba Rabaska Pila Ikate Lavanda Braska Pana Eshekete Gados Gaba Raba Repetos Capele E Pranta Pena Iprakos Capanta Pele Lala Ipacum Melina Pata Preska Pala. We thank you, King Jesus. Jesus, we bless your holy name, Marcus Gavila, Ekranta Penta Preska Paya Pande, Erapakoska Pilatina, Eleven de Gadus Gapanda Preska Pila, Oprakoska Pella Penta Pilatela. We thank you, King Jesus. We give you all the praise, all the glory this morning. Your name be praised, O Lord. Bakiska Panta Preska Pila. Be enthroned on our praise this morning. Be enthroned on our worship. This morning, Matis Capala Pasca Pila, a Capalus Capanda Pila, Ipanta Pelapella Paya, a Sicapalina Pranta Pelepaya, a Pacopele Paya Panda Pila, a Penapaya Panda Pasca Pala, a Patis Capasa Patela, a Capacosa Pelea Topela, a Sapella Pranta Paya Palina, a Pacosa Pata Pila. A penna pasta 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 pila. A penna paya panna pasta pila. E capanda peli la paya pa. A zapella penna pala panona. E capanda pasta peli paya. Peli ne mo sapata. Malivrado shatalaba. Oh King Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you mightly for praying. Uh, Isaiah chapter thirty-two, the verse number fifteen. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Isaiah 32, the verse number 15. Thank you, King Jesus. 
the Bible says, until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, and the wilderness be a fruit fulfilled, and the fruit fulfilled be counted for a forest. Oh, Jesus, we want to lift up our voices and pray this morning and say, Father, let there be an outpour of your spirit on us in the name of Jesus. Let every wilderness be a fruit fulfilled. Every wilderness in our lives, in any aspect of our lives this morning, oh God, by the outpouring of your spirit in the name of Jesus, let there be a conversion. Let there be a trans translation this morning from wilderness to fruit fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and let's pray in this place. Lift up your voice wherever you are. In Jesus, mighty precious name, God bless you so much for praying in this place. John chapter 1, the verse number 12. Thank you, King Jesus. The Bible says, But as many as received him to them, gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. King Jesus, we want to pray. Let's, let, let's add 13 and 14 quickly. Verse 13, the Bible says, Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Next verse. 14, 14. The Bible says, And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. In the mighty name of Jesus, you want to lift up your voice and say, Father, let your word become flesh in my life. In the name of Jesus, without the conversion into flesh, there is no beholding his glory. You are saying, Father, let your word become flesh in my life this morning. As it comes, let it come with power. Let it come to with power to convey it, that I'll behold your glory in this place in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and let's pray this prayer. Let's <laughs> 
And if you believe that God has something madly in store for you this morning, that your life was never the same again after today, lift up your voice. Bless the mighty name of King Jesus. Bless the holy name of Jesus. And say, Abba Father, we give you glory. Thank you, King Jesus. But I can touch a blessed Kapana. He can find the blessed Kapana. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This morning, as we worship and praise God, I just want to encourage you to put aside anything that is on your mind. And just focus on giving God the most joyful praise that you can give in this place. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. Vance, one minute, sorry. Um, I want to read from Psalm 63 before we go into a time of worship from verse 2 to 5. And he says, I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory because your love is better than life. My lips will glorify you and I will praise you for as long as I live. And in your name, I will lift up my hands. And he says what? I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods, with singing lips, my mouth will praise you. His love is better than life. His love is more than gold. His love is better than riches. So praise him like you believe it this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, let's go. Just start dancing a little bit. Uh -huh. Yes. Come on. See the way you love me. Aya. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for your head. Oh. Like a little baby. Uh. You watch over me. Oh. You know they carry me, they play. Oh. 
you're taking care of me I don't need to pay for the air that I breathe Air that I breathe You're taking care of me Your messages they call on me And just watching over me Before I call you answer me I'm a benefit girl oh, 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 oh. Say
soul My soul longs for you Forever and ever, yes My heart beats for you For as the deep hands for what I saw My soul longs for you, Lord Forever and ever, yes My heart beats for you For as the deep hands for what I saw Forever and ever, yes, my heart for us the deep and small water, deep and small water, my soul longs for you, Lord.
Jesus, my all in all. You are the longing of my heart, the desire of my life. You are sweetness to my soul.
Jesus. Oh, we came to present ourselves to Him. Let my compound have a hazard. Oh, Holy Spirit, I set this living sacrifice. If Allah, my nigga, da 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 da. He called on the Ananas. Let the glory be declared. Mahaki Valama Babalama. We love you, Holy Spirit. Arangada. He called on the Ananas. Jesus, we love you. You know, kids, we honor you. You deserve all sacrifice. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We came because of you, you are the reason why we are here. Ralabas. Oh, Holy Spirit. We are you, Jesus. Oh, my Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, we honor you. Your worship. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we love you so much. Precious Holy Spirit, we honor you for your mighty presence. We are here because of you, and you are the reason for our gathering. Be glorified. Be honored in our lives today in the name of the Lord Jesus. And in this place, the entrance of thy word, give it light. It give it understanding to the simple by your special grace. I reach forward into the very heart of my hearers. I make eternal deposit in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for that anointing, that precious ointment that makes preaching easy and hearing a delight. We vow to give you the glory for miracles, signs, and wonders. Be glorified and be pleased with us. In Jesus' name and everyone. Shouted a living amen. We look up for King Jesus. Are you sure it's King Jesus you are clapping for? Go ahead and have a seat, please. Hallelujah. 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 I can hear you. Hallelujah. There is no one like Jesus. And He's the reason why we gather every Sunday, every Thursday, every day. He's our focus. Because he's king and he's in charge of the universe and he's in charge of your life. Amen. The Bible said in Psalm 50 verse 10, he said the cattle on the thousand hill belongs to him. So he runs and he's in charge of the cattle of the world. And not only that, for every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle upon a thousand hills. Not only that, the Bible also said that he's in charge of galaxies and government. Ephesians 1, the verse number 20 to 21. I want the message Bible please. Shout, I love Jesus. Oh, we love you. All these energy issues from Christ, God raised him from death and set him on the throne. It means he's a king. In deep heaven, in charge of running the universe, everything from galaxies to governments, no name and no power exempt from his rule. And not just for the time being, but forever. He's in charge of it all. And he has the final he has a final say. He has a final word. When you are serving Jesus, know that you are serving absolute authority. Absolute power. There is no one above him. And there is no one who will assist him. Is somebody with me? At least his assistant should be closer to him. But he's unique. The Bible said that he has many crowns upon his head. Revelation 19, the verse number 12. Thank you, Jesus. Never forget why we come to church. I know it's a Sunday, and for some of us, if we don't go, our parents will not allow us to stay home. And others to our spouse will be angry at us. Nowadays, you are backsliding. You are not going to church. So let me just go so that I'll have peace of mind. But can, <laughs> can we come to a place where we know why we come? To meet the king of kings. The Bible said, his eyes 
Whose eyes? Next, verse 11. <laughs> I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Next verse. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no man knew but he himself. You guys were singing a song at the... Where's Tracy? Uh, he wears the victor's crown. Yes. He said he has many crowns. And one of them is the victor's crown. Because when he went to hell and beat the devil, he got a crown. Everything he did in his life, that he lived a holy life, he has a crown on him. The Bible said in Hebrews chapter 2, the verse number 9. He said, but now we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angel. Now, crowned with glory. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower. Now, the word a little lower means a little time. Because he had to be made a little lower so that he can die. If he had stayed Jesus, gods don't die. So for a season, he had to die. It was an escape route to hell to go and be the devil. Because he couldn't go like that. There's no way they can kill God. So he had to come as a camouflage and die. When he showed up, the devil said, ah, is that you? It was too late. But he said, we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. He tells us the purpose. So that he can die for the suffering of death. But he said that, but now, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. He's in charge. He never runs fast to catch up. And he's, he never lacks to. He takes his own time. And he does what pleases him. And the good news is that he's your God and your King. Can we sing that song? He wears the victor's crown. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your right hand if you can. Hallelujah. You have overcome. Just close your eyes. You have overcome. Hallelujah. Jesus, you have overcome. Oh, he's thinking about your Jesus and my Jesus. Jesus. We are singing about your Jesus and my Jesus. He overcame the grave. Hallelujah. 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 Baba la base ya das
Contention you are making this blessed morning. Jesus, ha! We love you, King Jesus. We love you, Jesus. La ba 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 ba. Oh, Jesus. La ba ka ti se he te. Le ba 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 ba. Lucky on the Jesus, clap for Jesus, celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus, and right now, anyone watching me online in person, anyone who is angry at you for no reason, determining to hurt you, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I stop them on your behalf, you cannot be stopped, in the name of Jesus, I disallow it, in that powerful name. Will you clap for Jesus? Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no one like your Jesus. And when you come to church and we sing, don't think it's not part of the service or we are preparing for the main service. It's part of the main service. Yes. All right. Before we get into the word, will you go to 25 and a half people and tell them it's good to see you. And I mean it. Yes. I'm not saying because Pastor said. Amen. Every song of song be broken. You wear the pictures for You have all the time. You have all the time. Every high thing must come down. Every song of song be broken. You wear the pictures for You have You have all the time. 
get back to your seat. All right, take your seat. Then Rama is saying, take your seat. Then Rama is saying, enough is enough. Take your seat. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Are you sure you are clapping for Jesus? Hallelujah. All right, all right. It's always good to be in that wonderful presence of Jesus. All right, last week we started a series. And the series was about the communion of the Holy Spirit. Can I get two or three people to tell me what they remember from the series? Yes. Come to Mama Grace. Yes. Yes, please. Amen. Perfect. Amen. I learned that um, the power of the mind. The sons. Mama, hey. one, one minute. They are reminding me I have to switch my mic again. <laughs> the mind is, is working. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, please, Mama. Came so that the sons of men will become the sons of God. Amazing. And have advantage of animals mm. and the sons of men. Amazing. Can we clap for Mama, please? Yes, yes, yes. Jesus was a son of man, but he was originally a son of God. And the son of God became a son of man, that the sons of men will become the sons of God. And by that, we have an advantage over the sons of men and the beast of the world. Yes, please, Ashley. We learned that Jesus is the bridge. The foundation of communion is mm. union without connection. Mm. There is no communication, Excellent. and we need union with God. Can we clap for her? Yeah, she's almost summarized the whole sermon. We said that without connection, there is no communication, and that connection is our union. Till we have a union with Him, we cannot have communion with Him. Amen. Yes, Shalom. Please. Yes, please, Mr. Yuan. I understand that we have a divine mingling with God. Mm. That means we cannot be separated from Him no matter Hallelujah. what. Hallelujah. We have a divine mingling with God. We cannot be separated from Him. It is too late. Amen. Yes, please, Grace. Shalom. Shalom. So we learned that the grace of Jesus, the love of God, enables us to have communion, which is partnership with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Christianity is an invitation to fellowship with the Lord. Amen. Christianity is an intimate friendship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Next week you are, you'll, you'll be preaching. Next week you are preaching. Can we clap for her, please? Hallelujah. That is amazing. Let's clap for ourselves, please. Wow, wow, wow. Powerful, 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 powerful. All right, so as we all said, we said that communion is key. We are created to come into the goal class. And we said that if a human being called Nebuchadnezzar could be invited to have fellowship with animals, in the same way, sons of men can be invited to have fellowship with the God realm. First John 1, the verse number 3. I'll do a recap then. We add a layer to it today. Amen. Somebody is blessed. Yes. I pray that as we preach and we teach, the power of God will rest upon your life. Yes. In the name of Jesus. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you. John is saying that what we are talking about, we are not guessing. We have seen it. We have heard about it. We have experienced what we are talking about. That you also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. He said... I fellowship with God and his son. Yeah. And I want you to also come to be part of that communion. It's like saying that I always have breakfast with the president. But tomorrow morning, I want you to join me to have the breakfast. That is what John is saying. Now, John wrote this book at the end of his life. And at the end of his life, that guy was called John the Divine. They tried to kill him. He could not die. No. They put him in a cauldron of oil. You know oil? Yeah. Not your frying pan, you know. You when you are trying to fry egg, not that one. A big bowl full of oil, heated oil. They put a the guy in to fry him. He will not die. Yeah. Then they left him on an island of Patmos to die with a the beast. Then he came back with the book of Revelations. I said, what is wrong with this guy? We tried to kill you, you won't die. We were thinking the beast will kill you. He came back with the book of Revelations. Why? He said, the reason why we live this way is because we have fellowship with the God class. Yes. And, and it's not just for him. It's for all of us. 
The question is, will we believe it? Second Corinthians chapter 13, the verse number 14. Shout and bless. I am blessed. Say, I've come to the God realm. You don't have to feel it. You have to believe it. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Can I get the Amplified Classic? The word communion is the word koinonia in the Greek. comes from koinonius and koinonius. It means to have a common fellowship. The word is too rich in the Greek. It means several things. One of these which we can't talk about, it means distribution. It means contribution. It means in the God class. What I'm going to say, you don't have to believe it. Just keep it in your mind. In the God class, when you have, to, you have come for fellowship, you can contribute something into the God class. That's the meaning of the word. You can do your own studies. Hmm. God wants you. It's like somebody married a woman and said, what are you bringing on the table? God wants us to come into a fellowship, not just to become robots, but to contribute something. Paul said, Paul the Apostle said, a dispensation of the gospel has been given to me. This same Paul said that what was lacking in the work of Jesus, I came to supply. It's all in the Bible. Paul is talking, a human being like you, talking. But that is not my subject today. But I want to bring your attention to, I don't want you to go to church Sunday, Thursday, it was a good service. Because the truth of the matter is, I, I, I think I told you last week, why do you go to church? Why do you serve God? To get a miracle. When all your miracles and your needs are met, what will you do? Oh, so that I will go to heaven. When you get to heaven, what will you be doing? When we get to heaven, there will be no need. What we will be doing is our fellowship, communion. And the truth is, the level of your communion now, where you get to your spiritual height, that is where you begin in heaven. So don't think that you appear to heaven and everything is perfect. It's not true. So if you don't serve God well, and spiritually your height is like this, when you get to heaven, you begin from here. And still mature. So the best thing, the greatest purpose, why? We serve God. Go to church. Fellowship. The miracles, the testimonies. It should make you know him better. It should make you grow in him. Or else, in eternity, you have to start from where you are. So you might say that, oh, this is for pastors. This is why I'm not into spirit. I'm not. No problem. In heaven, you still have to go to school. Yes. You know, they said, and, and, and books were open. There's what is called the library of heaven. What do they need library for? If not for studies. Recently, one man of God said he went, had an encounter and went to heaven. And he, he found himself in a classroom. And Mas Monroe, if you know him, he was teaching a class in heaven. I didn't see the vision, the man of God said. But let's assume it's true. Look at, how is it that this man who was a teacher is teaching in heaven? What do we do here? We will continue there. What you don't do here, you won't do there. Do something in your life now. Serve God better now. Give yourself more to the things of God. Because one of these days will not be around forever. Amen. So, we have come to the realm of communion. Amplified, amplified. 13 verse 14. Second. The grace, favor, and spiritual blessing of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God and the presence. The fellowship. The communion. The sharing together and participation. In the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Can I get the message Bible? Verse 14. That's communion. That's that big word, the intimacy. The amazing grace of the master, Jesus Christ, the extravagant love of God, the intimate friendship of the Holy Spirit. The simplest definition is the intimate friendship because we know friendship. But this time, it's an intimate friendship. And the purpose of Christianity is to come and have friendship with the Godhead. That is the summary. But we said that it's not possible except there's a union. And we did a the illustration that if there's no connection, you can't talk to anyone. After service, I went to the office, I, I picked my phone and I saw that people have called me. And I said, ah, why did you come? Said about in the service, we should call you and see. <laughs> <laughs> so the truth of the matter, without connection, there is no communication. And so what Jesus came to do for us, number one, is that he brought us into a connection with God. In the garden when we were made, we had 
we had fellowship because we were connected to God. Then the devil knew this. He separated us from God. Because when man sinned and man fell, when the Bible said man fell, man was not living on a tree. Through a us. Oh, talk to me, please. Man was not living on the downtown buildings. But the Bible said man fell. We fell from glory. We live in a realm of light, realm of glory. So man, we fell from glory, and God lives in that glory realm. And so when man sinned, and man will try to go, but with man's nature, the glory will consume man. So God put angelic cherubs to bar the gates of Eden, so that man will not come in this state, and the glory inside will destroy the man. But God was not angry. He had to make a way, and that's why Jesus came. So when Jesus came, when he died, the Bible said the veil was torn into two. Do you know the veil? That they had diagrams in the veil. There were two cherubs. Cherubim or cherubs. In the Hebrew, the plural is I am. So cherubim is plural. So in the, in the veil, there were two cherubims in the veil. Representing the two cherubs at the gate of Eden. And when Jesus died, the Bible said the veil split into two. Meaning that the cherubs who are the garden of Eden to prevent man from entering into pleasure, they were divided. And now a living way was made so that mankind will come back into fellowship with God. Oh, I love Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. And now that we have access, what will we do? So we made a point that when you get born again, you are joined to the Lord. When it comes to union, you don't do anything about it. It's a fact. Say, I don't feel it. You don't have to feel it. It's a fact. You have a kidney. You don't feel your kidney all the time. But it's there. Working. Oh, talk to me. You have your legs. You might not feel it all the time, but it's there. You just know. You have a brain. <laughs> it is there. It's working. All things be cool. <laughs> In the same way, you are connected to him. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Glory be to Jesus. Let's hurry up. Verse 17, please. Verse 17. Hmm. But he that is joined unto the Lord, say join. join. Say, I am joined to the Lord. Join. And I am one spirit with the Lord. So, by being born again, you have come into a union. You are joined. And the Bible uses the marriage to represent the Christ, marriage between husband and wife. It's a typology of Christ and the church. Ephesians 5 verse 28. Ephesians 5 verse 28. Let's hurry then go around. So all men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loved, loved his wife loved himself. Next verse. For no man ever hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it, even as the Lord the church. For we, can we read together one too? Who are we talking about? Us. We. We are members of whose body? Jesus. All right. Of whose flesh? Jesus. Of whose bones? Jesus. And it's real. It means that you and Jesus are one. How many people left their bones at home today? It means that where you are, your bones are there. Yes. Wherever you go, Jesus is there. Yeah. It's real. We are members. He said we are members of his body, of his bones, of his flesh. Can we read 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12? 12, 12. Oh, say, I am one with him. And I told you last week that this is the key. If you were conscious, sin will vanish. If you knew where you were, Jesus is there. Oh. When the thought comes, ha! Ah. <laughs> For as the body is one and had many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. So Christ is a body and you are part of that body. Next verse. Next verse. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Now this baptism is not talking about water baptism. This is baptism into Christ. The word baptizo, it means to immerse. We have been put into Christ. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be born or free, or have and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Jump to verse 27. Verse 27, please. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Verse 27. Now, ye are the body of Christ. Say right now. Right now. I, am the body of Christ. I am the body of Christ. 
and members in particular. Can I get that in the message Bible? Verse 27. Christ is the anointed one. It means you are anointed. Yes. Say, I'm anointed. I'm anointed. You are Christ's body. That's who you are. You must never forget this. You must never forget this. Never ever forget this. Never. Only as you accept your part of that body, does your part mean anything? He is talking about communion now. I will explain to you in a moment. You are familiar with some of the parts that God has formed in his church, which is his body. Say, I'm part of the body of Christ. I'm part of the body of Christ. I will never forget it. I will never forget it. The problem is that we forget. So I keep telling you, the foundation for all expression is in consciousness. If you ever remember all the time, I'm the body of Christ. As I drive, I'm the body of Christ. At the workplace, the body of Christ. When I show up at Walmart, the body of Christ has showed up. Some of the things which happens if we get to know. When you show up, devils will have to pack. When you leave, they come back. I heard a story about the man of God who was preaching. And he said, if you are a witch here, get up. Then witches got up in the service. Oh, witches go to church. Never forget. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Somebody said they are here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. After service, we will talk about that. Maybe, maybe you show me some of them. <laughs> But, but, so they got up and the man of God called one of them and said, come, what do you do? He said, if you want to cause an accident, yeah. we go on a highway with a rope, one on this side, one on this side. Then the man of God said, when you see people like us coming, what do you do then? He said, when we see a higher power coming, we pack up the road. Yeah. When you pass, then we come back. If you knew who you were, you would show up at Walmart spiritually, they would also pack away. The other day, I think it's Dr. Sandra. She went to Walmart. She was just entering the Walmart. And the man was just coming. True story. It's not a, a, a movie. She was coming. The man was coming. The, the man said, what is all this light? What is all this light? And the man ran away. First the car. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember back in medical school. We would fast and pray. People would come to the hospital. We would just, we are students going about. He said, that. why have we put all this fire around you? What is it? What is it? It's not a movie I'm telling you. They are real. Yes, yes, yes. yes. The question is, you forget who you are. You think you are that beating small girl, boy. You are suffering. How can I survive? No. You are part of the body of Christ. 1 yes. John 4 verse 17. 1 John 4 verse 17. Let's begin to run now. Herein is our love made perfect. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we now in this world. Say, this world. No, shout this well. This world. If I told you you'll be like Jesus in that world, you believe, do you know why? You don't have to do anything about it. You don't have to prove it. Because one day, one day in that world, we don't know what will happen, but let's just say amen. But he said, this world, we are like him. You must walk like him. Talk like him. When people see you, they should see you a Christian. They should smell Jesus about you. In love and in power. There should be, if you're a Christian... At least some of your friends or your family should wonder at you. The Bible said, these are men to be wondered at. He said, me and my sons, we are for signs and wonders. There should be something supernatural about you. If it does not show, get angry. Oh, you didn't hear that. If something supernatural is not about, get, get worried. Ah, how is it that I look ordinary? I'm not supposed to be ordinary. Shall I refuse to be ordinary? No, I, shall I refuse to be ordinary? I refuse to be ordinary. Yeah. In this world. Can I get message Bible verse 17? In this world. Say in this world. In this world. I am like him. I'm like him. Continuously in an intimate relationship with God. All right. God is love. When we take our permanent residence in a life of love, we live in God and God lives in us. This way, love has the run of the house, becomes at home and mature in us so that we are free of worry on judgment day. Yes. Our standing in the world is identical with Christ. Say, I'm identical with Christ. I'm identical with Christ. Now you see, when Jesus was resurrected, what happened was that, if you have gone to the labor world before, I've delivered a woman before. Yes, SVD. Yes, spontaneous vaginal delivery. And if they are coming with cephalic presentation, head first, what will happen is that you try to deliver the head first. Then at times the midwives would, would, would clean their eyes. As the head is out, the body is still inside. Christ is one body. When 
he was resurrecting. Jesus, the head, came out first. We are the body we followed later. The head called Jesus manifested in power and in glory. We, the body, we are going to follow in power and in glory also. He came out, the head came out first. He is Jesus. The Bible says that he might be the firstborn, firstborn among many brethren. So, Jesus is the head. We see the power, the glory of Jesus. He is the firstborn. Very soon, you, you might be part of the show that you are coming. Say, I'm coming. I'm coming. You will be part of the leg you are coming. But the truth is, the same energy and life and blood which runs through the head, runs through the whole body. Jesus. Say, I am one with Jesus. I'm one with Jesus. Pastor, I don't feel it. I didn't come to make you feel. I came to present to you facts. It's real. It's identical with Christ. There is no room in love for fear. So we made the point that union is the foundation for communion. Never forget that. If you are not conscious of your union, you will struggle with fellowship. So never forget it. Never forget. Never forget that. Then, communion simply is your response to union. If truly you are united with him, what you do about that is called communion. Never forget it. I will explain to you. Now that you believe that you are one with Jesus, what you do about it is what is called communion or fellowship. And communion is the means by which all the benefits of, of, of union you get. Now, I'm one with Jesus. Then I should be powerful. The way I get the power is by my communion. It is not automatic. The power, the glory. Anytime we mention the Holy Spirit, he's connected to power in the Bible. Micah 3 verse 8. Micah 3 verse 8. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Micah 3 verse 8. Mm, glory be to Jesus. I'm sure today I have an apprentice at the back. Have I, yes. Who is helping? So permit us to. Uh, yeah, okay, yes. It's not the pro people who are doing we are We are training more people. Uh, do you agree? Yes, amen. But truly, really, at what I just said, I said it to help myself. Yes. But truly, really, really, I am full of power by the Spirit of the law. Anywhere the Spirit of God, there's power. Act 1 verse 8. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Acts 1 verse 8. Thank you, Jesus. And you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Luke 24 verse 49. Luke 24 verse 49. Anywhere the Holy Spirit, there is power. But the power is released by communion. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the in the city of Jerusalem, until you be endued with power from on high. Ah, the promise will come, but the power will be will come upon you by the tarry. And that word tarry is a communion word. So you are full of the Holy Ghost. You are one with Jesus, but automatically you will not be powerful. So potentially you are powerful. All the energies of God reside inside you, and yet you can suffer, you can struggle. If we don't practice communion. Are we on the same page? It means that the most important thing for you to do is your fellowship, your communion with the Father. Because power is made available by your communion. When you read the Bible, I pray that God will touch your eyes. That you will see when you read your Bible. When you read your Bible, with this understanding, you will see Communion verses and union verses. That's what the Bible called rightly dividing the word of truth. I'll just walk you through some of them so that you know what the apostle was talking about. Look at Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. Colossians 1 verse 3. Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. Yes. Colossians 3 verse 1. He said, if ye be risen with Christ, did he say it will happen or it has happened? So it's a fact. Can you please come? I beg you. Yes. So you'll be union, you'll be communion. Okay. He said, if ye be risen with Christ, it's a fact that I'm risen with Christ. Say it's a fact. It's a fact. I'm risen with Christ. Everything is off, right? Okay. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Communion. You are risen with Christ. It's a fact. But you must seek. Seek is communion. Hello, are we on the same page? You don't have to do anything so that you will be risen with Christ. 
You don't have to do anything. Check if this one too is off. You don't have to do anything to be risen with Christ. Seek those things which are above where Christ is seated. So believe that I am risen with Christ. If that's the case, let me seek the things where I live. So the first part talks about union. The second part talks about communion. Go to Colossians 1 verse 12. Colossians 1 verse 12. Union is a fact. You don't do anything about it. You only believe it and know it. Then, based on what you know, what you do with it is called communion. He said, giving thanks unto the Father is something you are doing. Give it. Say giving. Give it, so I'm going to give thanks unto the Father. Why? Who has made us persons? Me to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in life. Right now, I'm a partaker of the inheritance. Based on the fact that I know I'm a partaker, I give thanks. My giving of thanks is called communion. My knowing that I am a partaker is called union. Can we see that in the Bible? All right. Let's go to John 3 verse 16. John 3 verse 16. Most believers, we just have the union. And even the union, we are not sure. And we do nothing about it, the communion. And so, pastor says that I'm supposed to be powerful. The Bible says I'm supposed to be powerful. But I'm so struggling, I don't know why. You should know what to do. What you must believe is the fact. And what you do is the communion. For God so loved the world, the whole world, before you got born again, he loved you, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is a union verse. If you get born again, you do nothing, you have eternal life. Give me NIV. You have eternal life if you are born again. So today, if we do a, a, an altar call and somebody comes, the person will receive eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. But he shows another verse concerning eternal life, which is communion. John 17, verse 3. John 17, verse 3. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. He said, now this is eternal life. I thought he gave me eternal life in chapter 3, verse 16. But he said, that, but now this is eternal life. That they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Okay? So me knowing is also eternal life. But when I got born again, I got eternal life. This one is union. When I got born again, I have eternal life. But when I begin to know him, that eternal life manifests. It works around me. It produces results. It becomes effective and effectual. But most people have received Jesus. That is all. You will not get the benefits of the union with the Christ. Look at the verse, John 17 verse 22. John 17 verse 22. He said, and the glory which thou, Jesus is praying, and Jesus' prayer is always answered. And the glory which thou givest me, I have given them. Do you have the glory of Jesus? Yes. Oh, talk to me. Do you have the glory of Jesus? Yes. Jesus said, I gave it to them. You did, you did not, before you, you, you were born, he already signed the transaction is in your name. Amen. That they may be one, even as we are one. Say, I have the glory of Jesus. I have the glory of Jesus. You have to know that, and that is called union. But, if you just know that, it will not be enough. You have to have communion to produce the result. So look at 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. 3, verse 18. Okay, start from verse 17. Verse 17, look at what he said. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Next verse. But we all, with open face, beholding in a glass, the glory of the Lord change into the same image from glory to glory even by the spirit of the Lord but he told me I have the glory mm -hmm. but when I begin to look in the glass communion, when I have fellowship in his way that glory which is mine I now begin to manifest it I am changed into that glory Amen. clap for Jesus now if I get born again I have the glory if you go to heaven you have the glory even the devils know you have the glory but your life will not be glorious why? you don't behold you don't behold. You don't practice communion. And I'll explain to you how to practice that in a moment. You must know. Say, I must know. I must know. Then I must behold. Then when I behold, I'll be changed from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. That's how come we worship. That's how come we study the Bible. We do meditation. That's how come the songs you sing are powerful because they help, help you to behold. The song I gave you guys. He said, we wear his glory. The one I, I told you. Yes, let's sing that song. We wear his glory. He said, your goodness looks good on me. 
And we wear your glory. And we wear your glory. And we wear your glory. And we wear. If you sing this song for one full day, when you step in your car, you know that you are not ordinary. Let's sing the chorus, please. And we wear your glory. Who is singing for me, please? Please. And we wear your glory. Your glory. And we wear 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 your glory. Listen to me. The one who is singing this song, he knows as a fact, I have the glory of God. Somebody can buy a dress for you and you won't wear it. Three of us. Or oh, some of you have plenty of those dresses there. You don't like it. Some of you like it, but you can't fit. Because you lost weight, you can't fit. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> allow, 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 allow. So you have the glory. You should know as a fact. But just to have the glory, you will not look glorious till you wear it. Right. In fellowship, you begin to sing. And we wear your glory. And I wear your glory. And I wear your glory. I'm showing you how to have communion. Now, as simple as that thing is, that is where the power of the Holy Ghost is released for you. Yes. Your goodness looks good on me. Can we start from there? As we worship and behold your face, the light of your Lift up your right hand. now shines on us, mm. and we radiate your love. Lift up your, lift up your right hand. As we worship and behold Take your this. face, the light of your content now shines on us, and we radiate your love.
be driving and you're singing this song there are days i will sing that song and i will sense that energy ah all by myself i'm not going to preach but that energy is welling and i'll be shouting in my car thank god that it will be your role they won't say the guy is mad because that energy will be released you read the bible goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of your life it's in the bible but you begin to say goodness looks good on me it's better than begging. Father, show me you. No, I beg you. I beg you. It's better than that. Fellowship with what he has said. Union. And I wear glory. Pastor, I don't feel it. Oh, I don't feel it. If you fellowship enough, you start feeling it. Yes. <laughs> Suddenly your energy changes, your boldness, your confidence. Yes. Why? Have you gone to an occasion or a wedding before? And you know that day you are looking amazing. Yes. Oh, talk to me. That day you intentionally walk around. It's like you are looking for somebody. You are looking for some. You know you are not looking for anybody. You are telling everybody, look on me. I put on a new wig today. It's a new dress, a new shoe. Why? Because you are wearing some sweet perfume. Some sweet dress. You are wearing a nice makeup. Am I preaching? Na 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 na. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. I wear glory. I wear glory. I wear your glory. And I wear your glory. Hey. I wear your glory. And I wear your glory. I ba 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 ba. And na 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 na. Ra da da da. And I shine the glory. Oh my goodness my king and my lord and Your prosperity, your life, your energy. Jesus. Now, when you begin to sing like this, all the devils who wanted to destroy you, they'll be confused. Ah, is it not this lady we are trying to fight? And he's going about, I wear your glory. Hey, they'll be confused. But some way, somehow, we have been made by tradition to believe that I'm ordinary. I'm helpless. We are nobody, so we are nobodies. We are just a mushroom somewhere. You are not a mushroom. Amen. Say, I'm not mushroom. I'm not Say, I, I, wear I wear his glory. Say, I have the garments of Jesus. And his garments are called glory. Oh. Someone said, he should just preach and let's go. I'm preaching. This is part of the preaching. Oh, we love you. So, so. When you come to Jesus, he says, Matthew 11 verse 28. Come unto me. Most people have obeyed that part. Come unto me. But 
after I come unto him, there must be what is called abide in him. Most people only heard, come unto me, I've come, I've come. Just as I am, I've come. But there's something he calls it abide in me. John 15 verse 4. Mm -hmm. You can decide to leave the come unto him realm and you get the come unto him blessing. Because over there, only burdens are dealt with. Mm -hmm. Oh, talk to me. Yes. No, go, go back to Matthew eleven twenty. 20. Let me show you something. Most believers have come to the come unto me realm. They are realms of the spirit. You choose where you want. Come unto me. All you that are that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Yes. So over this, by the time you are coming, you are so tired and worried. All I want is take one bedding away. Oh, I have 20. If you take 10, I should be fine. But when you have come, he said, when you come, I will take them away. But I don't want you to leave and come back tomorrow morning. Sundays we come, then we go. Thursday we come, then we go. And then when we come here, we invite the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, please come. Come. No, he said, when you come, abide. John 15 verse 4. Start from verse 1. The abiding is what we have not done. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. Now, when you study the Greek, you understand what it means by abide. The word is meno. It, it means to be present. You know, some people can come to church and they were not present. Yes. Have you gone to class before and you were not present? Oh, talk to me. You, you, you are in class, but you are not present. You are there, but you are not there. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. He said, no, make my own to remain, to stay, to abide. Now that you have come, be present. All right. How many people, be, take your, how many people believe that there's electrical power in, in this room? All right. But if you touch the wall, power will not enter you. Oh, talk to me. The fact that you are in the room, you are not powered by electrical power. But if you can plug with your hands in some, oh, you will be charged. You will be charged. In the same way, you are present with God. But power might not be flowing. The other day, this is Jesus. Touch the other side. Yes. This is Peter and this is the woman with the issue of blood. <laughs> everybody is touching. Yes. But everybody is okay. Then Jesus said, hey, somebody touched me and power has gone out. Peter said, what is wrong with you, Jesus? We are touching. Everybody is touching. He said, no, somebody touched me and power came out. It means you can be with Jesus and power will not flow. So when you, are, you have come unto him, it's called the first level. It's called union. We are all united with Jesus. But this guy, this woman, <laughs> he has come into communion, a conscious fact. And it is the communion which draws the power. Clap <laughs> for Jesus. Take your seat, Jesus. <laughs> is somebody with me? And if you can be conscious of that, you, you can be talking, you are, you are at work. Say, I don't have time to pray. You don't know what to do, that's why you say that. Because you drive 30 minutes every day. All things being go back and forth. Some of it's 45 minus traffic. <laughs> if you only did, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. The Holy Ghost is there already. Before you started saying thank you, Holy Ghost, he was there. But if you can be conscious, you, you can be in a hot argument. Or they are interviewing you and you are sweating. Yes. If you can just th thank you, Holy Ghost. Suddenly, his wisdom will drop. Yes. It's called communion. At that time, you just know what to do, when to do, what to do. So, there must be a coming unto. Then there must be an abiding. The abiding is the communion. Now, about to close. Principles for communion, so that you can start practicing. The first principle you must know about communion is that recognize that the Holy Spirit is a person. Most people think that the Holy Ghost is a wind. Yeah, Pastor, how can I relate with wind? I can't talk to when. Oh, he's a dove. He's not a dove. The, the, the Bible said that when Jesus was being baptized, he descended like a dove. He didn't come as a dove. You read your Bible. He descended like. It was his descent which was like yes, the dove. Yes. When he comes, he can manifest like when, but he's not when. He's a person. Because he has an emotion, he can be hurt. Ephesians 4 verse 30. 
Never forget that the Holy Spirit is a person. Say the Holy Spirit is a person. He is a person of power. He is very God who has a personality. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. If he can be grieved, it means he has emotions. A person. Feelings. <laughs> Give not the Holy Spirit of God. Whereby you are sealed. He's a person. He has a will. He can decide on things to do. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 11. Never forget that a person lives inside you. How would you feel if you stay with somebody and you don't talk to the person? You don't greet the person. You go out and come. You do what you want to do without greet. How will you feel? And the Holy Ghost lives inside you. And for days, for hours, we don't talk to the Holy Ghost. I have become first, first Corinthians 12, verse 11. First, please. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mm. He said he giveth gifts according to his own will. But all this worketh that one and same self, self, same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. Yeah. As he will. As he will. As he will. As he will. He has a will. So there's a person who is with you and he's inside you. So the first thing is that no, he's a person. Number two, if he's a person who is far away, you can't have communion with the person. Oh, talk to me. You, the, somebody can be a person, but you don't know them. Some of you, the day you meet your celebrity, you don't you, you let them go, true or false. You hug them, you take selfie, but you only see them on TV. They are not... There's no way they are close to you. But this Holy Spirit, number one, he's a person. Number two, he is near and close to you. John 14, verse 17. He's not far away. Say, he's near me. He's, near me. he's, close, to me. he's close to me. But even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because he seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Say, he's in me. He's in me. I can feel you. Say, he's in me. He's in me. Say, he's with me. He's with me. So this... Big, powerful God. Who is the Holy Spirit? He's near and close to me. Never doubt that. Say he's close to me. He's close to me. The Bible said in Proverbs 18 verse 24. He said there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. He is that Holy Spirit. 18:24. A man that had friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. The good news is that the closest person to you is the Holy Spirit. Not your wife. Not your husband. Not your best friend. Why? Because they know your heart. They live inside you. I mean, the Holy Ghost lives inside. He knows your... Before you even talk, he knows. If you want to have the best of friends, who will not get angry at will? The Holy Ghost. Because he understands you. He knows you. He said, can I get that in the Passion Bible? So he's a person who is very close. He is closer to you than the air you breathe. And yet we ignore him all day, all week, all month, all year. And we get surprised that we don't have power. We should not be surprised. Some friendships don't last long. Say some friendship. Some friendship. It's in the Bible, so don't be worried. Don't get angry. But there is one loving friend who is joined to your heart yes. closer than any other. He is the Holy Spirit. He is joined to your very heart. Heart to heart. And it's so close. Never, never, ever down. You don't have to be spooky and walk slow because you are working with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. No, live your normal life. But you know somebody's with you. If you go fast, you go fast with you. If you slow down, you will slow down with you. If you are laughing, you will laugh with you. Most of the time, the Holy Ghost cannot laugh. He laughs. Most of the time, in service, people have the laughter of the Holy Ghost. The other day, the Bible said, when the Holy Ghost came upon Jesus, the Bible said, there's... The spirit drove him to the wilderness. So everybody was walking and they saw Jesus running. Hey! People thought Jesus was wearing only a gown. And said, bless you. Hi. Bless you. They saw Jesus running. He was energetic. So you can be running. And yet, you know the Holy Ghost is with you. You don't have to just change your life. How are you? God bless you. Some of us, when they come to church, God bless you. Oh, you are blessed. They have a church voice. And they have a work voice. If you see them on the other side, hey, 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 hey. Hey, but when they come to church, bless you. Wow, so good to see you. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Who are you deceiving? Let, 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 us, th let us think. Let us think. Let us think. <laughs> let us think. <laughs> but there is one loving friend who is joined to your heart, closer than any other. Someone said, he's talking about the Holy Spirit and he's joking. <laughs> 
Has the Holy Spirit complained to you? <laughs> There's one loving friend who is joined to your heart closer than any other. So, this Holy Spirit is a person. Number two, he is closer and is very near to you. And you must know that by faith. Ephesians 3 verse 17. By faith. Know that. I want to feel the Holy Spirit. Are you on left hand? Left or left or right? right? Left or right? Forward or back? No, you don't do it by feeling. Do it by faith. He said that Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. The Bible said in Hebrews 11 verse 27, by faith they saw the invisible. By faith you can see the one who is invisible. Always inside you, always working with you. Hebrews 11 27. Oh, glory be to God. Now, by faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king. For he endured as seeing him who was invisible. He did that by faith. So by faith, know the Holy Ghost with me. Don't feel it. The feeling will come later. If it does not come, it doesn't change the fact that he's with you. And he's close. Now, somebody can be a person. The person is near and close. And yet you will not have access. Talk to me. Last week, somebody joined the queue and said, Pastor, finally, I got confidence to come and greet you. And the person has been coming to church for six months. I'm not scary. But the person now, I have confidence to come and greet you. Most people know the Holy Ghost is a person. He know, they know he's near, but they are not confident. They don't think they have access. So, I, so I, can, I can go to pastor. I can go to the president. In the same way, the Bible said in Ephesians 3 verse 12, we have boldness and confidence to access the throne. In whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith. Someone said that, oh, if I check all my righteousness boxes, I have 10 of them. Only two is correct. So I'm waiting. The day all the 10 will be correct, then I'll have boldness. No. Actually, because you want to check, that's why you have to come and say, Holy Ghost, I need help. Yes, 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 yes. I've been trying. I'm struggling. Help me. He won't kill you. Say, I need help. You know, all the boxes, the only one is checked. Even the second one is half checked. <laughs> so if you don't help me, even the first one which you check can be raised. Yeah. Holy Ghost, help me. Have confidence and come. Last but one point. He's a person. No. He's near and close and you have access. You must have an affection for him. You know, at times somebody is big and popular. You have connection, but you don't like the person. One day somebody told me, a man of God came to town. Then somebody told the man, another man of God to go and meet the person. He said, I won't go. He said, well, I don't like that. He said, I don't like that man of God. He said, ah, I can connect you. He said, I don't like him. In the same way, the Holy Ghost is powerful. Yeah. He's close to you. You have access. But if you don't have affection for him, you walk one year and forget about him. But when you love a lady, when you love a man, hello? I won't continue. You know the story. <laughs> you will find a way. Even if you say, my schedule is busy. Are you sure only five minutes? What about bringing you pizza? <laughs> what about, what about fried rice? I just want to come over the, what about the weekend? I'm flying over the weekend. My, my boss is sending me to Florida and they know nothing about it. So I just want to come around. I just want to see you. Can I see you just for five minutes? Okay, at the airport. Just at, at the airport. You will find every way to see the person. The way somebody say yes, I'm surprised. <laughs> say yes. 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 But, but, there's union. But if there's no affection, you will not drive yourself to spend time and worship him. It will be difficult, difficult. <sighs> if, as I'm even preaching, someone say, let's hurry up, pastor, let's hurry up. It's almost, let's hurry up and close. Yeah. But when you have that love, that communion, you just want to see your beloved. He said, the one my soul loved, where is he? You will find means to spend five minutes. There are days you just go to the washroom, you are busy. Go to the washroom, say, Holy Ghost, I came to say thank you. And you don't have to go to the washroom, but you can decide to make it special. But as you are working, you can say, thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. Now, as simple as what I'm telling you, if you ask anyone who has power, that's the secret I'm telling you. The communion of the Holy Ghost. Can I tell you? Fruitfulness with him, it flows from intimacy. Oh, this one is not a spiritual law. It's a physical law, which is also physical. Fruitfulness. It comes by intimacy. If you must be fruitful in your life and your work with God, you must have intimate fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Yesterday, I came to bless a nice couple in church. Now, they had an engagement in Ghana. I've known them for about a year now. 
I say I won't, I will spare you the story today, another day. Yes. But they have had an engagement. And they were united. But after the wedding, they have communion. Say communion. communion. True or false? Uh, <laughs> why do you want to take the microphone? They already answered. Why do you want to amplify? <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is that as long as this one lives here and this one is here, they are united on paper in the system. But they have to practice communion. Most people are married, they don't communion. <laughs> They don't fellowship. You are right. <laughs> in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. The Bible said when you get born again, you are married. You are joined. Now that you are joined, Romans 7 verse 4, I close. I think if I close it to help me. Romans. Wherefore, my brethren, ye also, ye also, are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that you should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead. That we should bring forth, we should bring forth. Fruit. Oh, can you shout it? You should bring forth. Fruit. It means that the fruit we will give to God, it will come by the union and the communion. Yeah. We are married to the Holy Ghost, to the Godhead. And productivity, fruitfulness, advancement, progress in life, it will come when you practice communion. You don't have to stop your work to practice communion. But just be conscious as you drive. Your, small time. If you see the fruitfulness of the small time, very soon you will make big time. Can you lift up your right hand? Don't get up. Lift up your right hand. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, when we say you are welcome, not in this room, but in your heart. You are saying that now that you are there, be very comfortable. I enjoy yourself. We are practicing communion. For just 30 seconds, one minute, and we close. Now, in the midst of that, you can get a miracle. You can get a testimony. He will speak a word to you. He will give you a vision. Father of mercy and grace, thou art Wave your hands to him, Jesus. In this place, Holy Spirit, oh, we love you, Jesus. Oh, Bahagadi has us. He can hear you because he is with you and shall be in you, and now he is inside you. Watching online, the presence of Jesus is right where you are. Chest pain. Chest pain is leaving you right 
now. I said, just pain is leaving your body right now. Never to return again. In the name of Jesus. Joy pains are leaving right now. Join pains in your ankle. Right ankle. Join pain. It has left you right now. Rabadahas. That headache on the side of your head has left you right now. That headache has left you right now. Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome. Now we are going to sing that song again. If you are sick in any part of your body, you are feeling the pain right in the service. You lay your hand upon it. As we are singing it, that pain leaves you. If you see and notice any change in any part of your body, you want to be on your feet and come towards me right now. Let's sing that song. Five minutes we close the service today. It can be a growth, a tumor. Believe God for that miracle. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, that chest compression, the tightness is open up now. It's open up. Of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. Watching online, the same presence of Jesus is over there. The headache leaves now. The itchiness on your eyes is off. It's off. The rashes are vanishing. Pains in the back. Your lumbar region is gone. The lumbar pain is gone. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Of mercy. We love you, Jesus. Thou art welcome. Now, before we close, watching online in person, you want to accept Jesus because by Jesus we come into union. Then the communion can happen. You want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You want to make him your best friend. So that you can access his love and his grace. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I declare. I declare. You are the son of God. You are the son of God. You came into the world. You came into the world. And you died. Then you died. Then you resurrected. Then you resurrected. I receive forgiveness of sins. I receive forgiveness. I receive eternal life. I receive eternal life. I receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I receive the gift of the from Holy Spirit today, from today. I commune with you. I commune with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 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 Now stretch your hand towards me. Father, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and that precious fellowship, that precious communion. Let it rest upon everyone under the sound of my voice as a gift. Let that tangible presence, tangible fellowship, the sharing, the participation in the God class, in the Godhead. Father, make it real to us. And by that fellowship, I command divine advancement. Amen. 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 Divine progress. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Can you strike a call for me, please? I command divine advancement. Yes, Lord. Divine progress. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I see God giving businesses to people. I say, I see working businesses, I receive productive it. businesses. In the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of the Lord I Jesus. It. Let it manifest. It manifest. I Amen. command you come into a realm of yes. abundance. Yes. A realm of abundance. Yes. And the abundance will stay. Amen.
Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For upon all the glory there shall be a defense. Amen. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost preserve and protect you in and all that is yours. Of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, if you believe like I do, why don't you shout a living amen? Amen. Will you clap for Jesus? Are you sure it's Jesus you are clapping for? Hallelujah. Were you blessed today? What are you going to do? You have been invited to the realm and the class of power. Never forget it and practice and see how your life will change. What I'm telling you, it's not what I read in the Bible only, but it's something which is real. In Jesus' name, amen. Can you go ahead and pick up an offering as we begin to close? Thank you, Jesus. I have some good announcements for you. Thank you, Jesus. All right. If you need an envelope, go ahead and lift up your hand. If you felt any change in your body, talk about the pain. Make sure you see Pastor Man. Are you the one? Yes, come. Yes. Yes. What happened to you? Go to the mic. Yes. Glory be to Jesus. So since um, last night, yes. up until this morning, I was having severe headache. Amazing. Last night, I couldn't sleep. I had to take, like I was taking ibuprofen. I think I took up to like because six. Because you're a doctor, so tablets. you know what to do. <laughs> So, um, this morning I came, my head was banging, but I was like, God, you know. But as, I, as we were there, the minute you said, I think you said the headache yes. goes away, and it was like... Like it, vapor. It yeah, because it was feeling like pressure on my, in my head, Amazing. and then it, it just released. Can we clap for Jesus? Amen. Are you sure it's Jesus you are clapping for? I use it as a point of contact. Any pain in anyone watching online, any growth, any tumor, it leaves you now in the name of Jesus. I establish it in Jesus' name. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, all right. If you are ready, can you lift up your envelope, your phone, any means by which you are given? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Shout, I give. Because I love Jesus. But as I give, it comes back to me. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. And running over. In Jesus' mighty name. And right now, I command that the tighter is preserved. The devourer is cursed. I demand open heavens. Let God bring you to the realm of abundance. Continuous increase. In Jesus' name. And everyone, shout to the living amen. Can we go ahead and take the offerings, please?
Thank you. I command financial help, financial abundance. I curse lack around you. You will not be stagnated financially. In Jesus' name. And everyone shouted a living amen. Will you clap for Jesus? Clap for Jesus. Mr. Sam. Mr. Sam. I see tracks. You own tracks. I see. Receive that in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command divine empowerment. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Your own business will succeed. Everyone's own can come down but not you. In the name of Jesus. I establish that for you. In Jesus' name. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. All right, all right, all right. Now let's have the video announcement. Then I'll come back with some other announcement. Amen. Shalom, saints. I'm Stephen, and I know you've been blessed by this powerful and impactful word that you received here at Christ Palace International Ministries. Under Show the divine saints. leadership of I'm Pastors Stephen, Dr. Mark and Watson, I know you've been blessed and Dr. Dorsey Watson. We know that your time that here today with us was very Palace well spent in this powerful atmosphere. Under of God. the divine leadership, we of encourage you to join us every Martin Thursday from 7 p.m. to 9:30 p.m. We know that your time for our here midweek today service, was very well and on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. We encourage you to join us every Thursday from 7 p.m. If you're in the Houston area, p.m. you can join us in person at 1515 Bel Air Boulevard. Houston, PM Texas, for 77083. Or if you're in you the can Houston join us area, online. You can join us via Facebook at or YouTube at Christ Palace Boulevard, International Ministries. Houston, Texas, and now for the following announcements. Get or ready to start you off your day in a powerful way Facebook with Mouse of Miracles YouTube Prayers every Christ Monday Palace through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. And now for the following announcements. Via Zoom. Get ready to start we strongly off your day encourage you to continue participating with in your small prayers. groups. Every this is a friendly Friday, reminder to please honor your church building fund Zoom. pledge if you haven't done so we already. Strongly encourage and you now to for something we all love, the end of month fast. Get this ready is a friendly to do reminder from April 30th to, to May 2nd. This will be a very impactful so time in which we will see God for something we all love, ways, the end of month fast. Get ready to do Are it. Are you ready? From April 30th. When I to say M O, you say C C M O. M O. When I say M O, you say C C M O. Are you ready? When I say M O, this is a reminder to register for M O C C. Registration is free, but you will have to pay for your T-shirt and accommodations. M O. We this pray is a reminder that you've been blessed in a mighty way by attending service with us Registration today. is free. If you would like to reach out to us, you may do so by calling us at 281-667-9961. We pray that you've been blessed in a mighty way by attending service with us today. Or you may email us at cpi.com. If you would like to reach out to us, you may do so by calling us at This week say, I refuse to be ordinary. Signing off from Christ Palace International Ministries, where we express God's love and display His power. And remember, this week say, I refuse to be ordinary. Shalom. Signing off from Christ Palace International Ministries, where we express God's love and display His power. And remember, this week say, I refuse to Thank you very much, Mr. Stephen. All right, so make sure you register for M O, M O, and we are not doing because we have to do it, but. The conference will bless somebody, I'm very sure. So plan and come, book your hotel. Somebody say, I live just five minutes away from there. But try and come into the atmosphere. Amen. Because we are, we're going to have sessions morning, afternoon, evening. That's Thursday evening, Friday morning, Friday afternoon, Friday evening, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. Then Sunday morning will be here. So plan accordingly and come invite your friends and believe God for an encounter. Don't just come because pastor said come, but uh, come. And the hotel is a good place to come and relax also. Amen. 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 All right. If today is your first day of being here, can you be on your feet? I want to pray for you. If today is your first time of being here. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Can we celebrate our wonderful guests, please? If they are by you, greet them. Make them feel special because they are special. Go ahead and greet them, please. This song is your very song. Keep standing, I'll pray for you in a moment. Keep standing, I'm going to pray for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Keep standing. Keep standing. We welcome you. We love you so much. We are grateful that you came to be with us. Can you keep standing? Can you keep standing? I want to pray for you, please. Keep standing. We 
we express His love and we display His power. In the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I demand that the sweet presence of Jesus, which brings about fruitfulness, preservation, and advancement, the same way by the presence they could not touch the ark, you are untouchable. In the name of the Lord Jesus, receive an encounter. Above all, grow in your knowledge of Jesus. In Jesus' name, and everyone shouted the blessed, blessed amen. amen. Can we celebrate them? We are grateful that you came. Take your seat, please. God bless you so much. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. Make sure you invite people to church. Evangelize. Do something because the world is coming to an end. Amen. I don't know whether it's five years or 20 or 100. It can be even extra thousand years. I don't know. But we cannot deny that we are in the end times. Amen. I'm sure you got to know that yesterday there were bombings in era Israel. Iran attacked them. Yes. And I'm sure you people have your own opinion. But my advice is that have discussions. Don't attach emotions to it because nobody will hear your opinion. Me, my opinion, nobody will listen. The people who are in charge, they, they won't hear us. Do you, do you understand? So don't ever fight with your friend. Hey, hey. No, don't do that. You, your, your pressure will just go out for nothing. <laughs> True story. I'm telling the truth. Because you are not a president. You are not a senator. Just pray. Hello. I think I had to say that by the Spirit to help somebody. Or somebody who just come and fight. It won't change anything. Before we were born, they have been doing this. It will continue. Because it's all written in the Bible. Just pray and fulfill your destiny. And intercede for them. That God, his will, will prevail. Amen. Amen. Now, first announcement. Can we welcome Mr. Derek and Sister Zifani? Amen. Amazing. All the media people, I fire you. I fire the media people. I fire the media people. Amen. <laughs> Yesterday, how many people know Sister Zifani? Yes. Yeah. She has a very small voice. Amen. Can we come with the family? Daddy, yes. And mommy, yes. Please come. The whole family, yes. Please come. Yes. Celebrate them, please. All right. This is Mr. Derek. Yes. I've known them for about two years, right? Yes. And God made it possible to unite them yesterday they already had engagement back in ghana and they had counseling with their pastor but since the man was coming the man came here by a miraculous way should i tell the story you are sure yeah. about two years ago i was there and the man wanted to see the beloved so much that he wanted to go and meet the lady in canada so he said i want to do connection and go to canada so that the lady we can meet do you understand then he said, let me pray about it. So I prayed about it, and I said, God said, don't go. But he didn't listen to me. So he bypassed and talked to another man of God, and paid money, and he got a visa. So he looked like I lied. Then he sat in the plane, got to Canada. Everybody left, they said, you have to go back. And so they took the person to Canada. He went to Canada. Is that correct? Then when he got to Canada, within the month, he got a visa to the U.S. <laughs> Clap for Jesus. Yes. yes. So when he came, this has even has, has been laughing throughout the past two months. Yes. Then th that's the father and the mother of Sister Zifani Fafale. And by the grace, do you have some of the pictures? You don't have that? Okay. And so yesterday we had a blessing for them. Amen. Some say, Pastor, how come you didn't invite us? I didn't have the permission to invite you. Amen. 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 Can we pray for them, please? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let your kindness, let your mercy, let your prosperity. Rest upon them in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command that I spare them pain and regret. And I command that this one will bring glory to God. And the greatest good to mankind. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. You can take your seat please. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Alright. Can we invite Sister Hazel and Mr. Greg? Amen. Amen. June the 7th. We have a wedding here. Amen. 7th of June. 7th of June. 7th of June. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All those who are jealous, I pray for you. That God will show you mercy. Hold on, hold on. You were singing a song, Married Again. Married Again. Sing, sing that, song, that part. Married Again. Uh-huh. Emmanuel has done it. Yes. Emmanuel. <laughs> 
Financial prosperity, financial help. June the 7th, I believe it's Friday. Yes, so we have it here. Amen. Amen. Now, now, where are you going? Take your time. <laughs> Stretch your hand. Let's pray that God will keep and preserve them and help them release a blessing. Go ahead, release a blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I use them as a point of contact. And anyone believing God for financial settlement, marital settlement, I mean, I command it to open in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command it to open in the name of Jesus. I command it to open in the name of Jesus. I command it to open in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We look out for Jesus. Take your seat, please. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right, all right, all right. There will be one more wedding in July, but that one will not be here. But I will introduce a person to you. Uh, maybe next week or next two weeks. Amen. All right. Can you be on your feet and let's close? <laughs> Shout, I'm blessed. I am blessed. All right. Take your seat for one minute, please. Yes, please. I beg you. Now, how many people have been hearing from their shepherds? Your shepherd texts you or call you. All right. Now, I want to address it because uh, somebody said, somebody, the shepherd checked up on the person. The person said, The Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> now, 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 no, 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 I'm sure the person might not know because before we started, I explained to you because the Lord is our shepherd, but He gave us shepherd. Jeremiah 3, verse 15, NIV. Please, please, please. True story. I didn't want to know the person, so I don't want to know. I don't want anything. So I said, let me just because it, maybe it's just one person. We got to know, but many people say that the Lord is no, nobody can be my. Agreed, agreed. <laughs> now, can we all read together one, two? Yeah. I'll give you shepherds after my own heart who will lead you with knowledge. Okay. So, the Lord is all of us our shepherd. The Bible calls him the good shepherd and the chief shepherd. But as chief, he gives others shepherds. Not that we are going to worship those shepherds. Okay. So at times, what you don't know, you just ask, okay? So that a man not like, uh, okay. Say, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my Be on your feet, let's close. <laughs> Be on your feet, let's close, please. <laughs> Lift up your two hands. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you the shalom. You are the righteous. You go in that wonderful, powerful name. And you are coming back with a testimony. Any calamity, disaster, cancelled in Jesus' name. This week, you'll be favored. In Jesus' mighty name. And everyone shouted, a living amen. amen. Tell 25 people, the Lord is my shepherd. God bless you.